The International Network for Doping Research was started about 15 years ago as a way to bring the growing body of doping research together and to bring scholars from around the world and from different methodologies to one place to share their research, their findings, as well as learn from other scholars. The whole idea about bringing these people together for this conference is to explore the unintended consequences of current anti-doping policies. And what we want to explore is what is the consequences for the athletes, for the anti-doping organizations and for the federations. So one of the interesting things is that we in our keynote sessions we've had the CEO from the anti-doping authorities in Holland who spoke about how the athletes in uh, Holland who takes unintendedly take a substance and test positive, how they deal with that in Holland. Athletes, in my view, are um, adults with responsibility for their life and for their sport career, and that's how I approach them. It would be great if we at least had a situation where the pr this problem, this specific problem in sport, was diminished to an extent that uh, we could leave out a number of the measures that we have to use, lessen uh, the number of doping controls, lessen the number of athletes in the whereabouts system, etc., etc. That would really, really be great. Um, and in the end, but that's, I think it's, it's complete theory, it would be of course great if there was no doping at all anymore, but I don't believe in that kind of world. In our parallel sessions, we also had Werner Pitch from Germany, who spoke about uh, the, the uh, interesting balance between the optimal level of positive tests seen from the perspective of the authorities, from the perspective of the federations, and uh, from the perspective of the athletes as well. We know that uh, the prevalence rate in, of doping in elite sport has remained rather stable over the last uh, 10, 10 years, something like that. So it's, as, as an outcome for the whole system of sport, there's not too much on po of positive effects as we don't see a decrease in the doping prevalence. We must accept that there are um, hidden ag agendas within this whole anti-doping system all around the world and if they have their op personal objectives in providing the anti-doping system for good or for bad, doesn't matter for them. We also had at this conference a business meeting where we encouraged people to show up and share their ideas of how the network should progress from here. It's always important for us to hear what uh, our members think of how we should progress, what kind of information, what kind of research they want us to, uh, to disseminate through the network. Doping is constantly changing. It's changing its policies, it's changing its issues. We use our biannual conferences, our newsletters, as ways to shine the light on issues that come up over time. We hope that we can continue to be a flexible, uh, responsive organization that focuses on the new ideas uh, as well as takes another look at old problems. Mm -hmm.